That's good coffee. It's nice and strong. Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a hobo coffee cup from a tin can. Stay tuned. To make this project, you're going to need a few items. First of all, just a standard, this is a green bean can, it's about 14 ounces. I've got a piece of wood here that is a mullen stalk, and it's pithy in the center, so it makes it really easy to work with. I've also got about six feet or so of copper wire, and you get this out of a piece of Romex wire. A lot of times it's a whole lot easier just to pull out the ground wire, as you don't have to strip the plastic off of it. You're also going to want a pair of snips or wire cutters, some pliers, and a sharp blade to skin off the outside of the mullen plant and make it smooth. When you're working with mullen, you'll notice that it has a lot of these spikes on here. And those have to be smoothed off because that's kind of hard on your hand. The size of this is about the size of my fist. So that gives you a good idea of what it needs to be. So we're just going to take our knife and we're just going to take the time to shave all of this off. And I'll do that and I'll get back with you. Okay, we've got that done. We've got this nicely smoothed off. And notice that there's a little bit of a notch here. That was already there. It's just part of where the wood has checked and split. But uh, it notice it's not a crack that runs all the way down. And that's important. We're actually going to use that. But there's one other thing we need to do. We need to take the blade and we need to kind of chamfer the edges here. Just go around the top and bevel that off. So just like this. So that it makes that top nice and smooth instead of a, a jagged edge that could uh, kind of hurt the fingers or just wear on you when you're using it. Okay, so we've got that nicely chamfered and smooth, and everything feels really good to the hand. Again, you can see about the width of it. Next, take the label off the can. Now these cans, they used to be coated with a BPA lining, but now they are coated with kind of like a lacquer. But you still need to burn that out of there before you can use it. And also it's important that you use a safety can opener that uh, takes off all the sharp edges uh, before you use this to drink out of, because you don't want to cut your lip on it. Now it's important after you burn this that you clean this out good with soap and water and that'll make it fit to drink. Now this is actually not tin, this is actually a mild steel so it'll hold up a long time. If you are concerned about it rusting, you can just put a light coat of olive oil in there. Again, a food grade oil, not a machine oil. It's important also that this can has a lip, top and bottom. That's going to help hold everything together. Alright, let's get the wire. The first thing we need to do with the wire is straighten out a length of it and then go down through the center and push out any of the pith that might be there and it doesn't take a whole lot to do that this one's dried and so once we get through all the way make sure that's pretty decent run that around then we're good with that alright the next thing we want to do is we want to pull out a good length I go uh, not quite halfway through this so pull this out about half of it you want to go to the top of the can and go all the way around it and you want to go around it twice try to keep that toward the top so come around it twice and then around to the back side like this keeping these wires pushed together and then you want to twist this around itself now to lock it in so you can start that with your fingers but ultimately you want to use the pliers and you want to start making a nice tight twist and keep working your way down. After we come out about 10 twists, I'm going to find the handle and then that notch that we utilize there in the front. I'm going to go ahead and thread this on. Okay, just like this. And then we have to take the other long end, which is still coiled, and feed it down through the handle as well. Once you get both of those wires threaded through there, go ahead and put a 90 degree. It's starting our handle, and that's where that notch comes. The weight of your cup is going to set toward the top, so that notch is going to help hold everything to keep it from slipping around. Alright, you come to the bottom. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We go ahead and start twisting it. Start it by hand. And then grab the pliers and continue. And we're going to put about the same number of twists at the bottom as we did at the top. 
Once we get that twisted as far as we want, go ahead and put another 90 degree bend in it and then come around the can like this to the front. And then at the front, we're going to twist this. And of course, we still got the short end and the long end. We're going to go ahead and twist that. We're going to use the pliers to crimp that in and to put a really tight bend. Now, you can crimp pretty hard on this. You can twist pretty good. But do be careful because you can over tighten this wire and cause it to snap. When you get this adequately tightened, go ahead and push the wire down on both sides to the lip, just like that. And then you'll want to bend this over to the side. You can do that with your fingers. You can use the pliers if you wish. And then you want to come around the bottom one more time and through this bottom bit of wire here. Okay, just like this down to the bottom. And then we're going to put a couple of turns around here at the bottom. Pull that through. Go ahead and tighten that down with the pliers. Make sure that's nice and tight. And then we're going to go on around the other side one more time. Again, we want two loops of wire all the way around. So we're coming around just like this. Around the bottom one more time. Around the front. And back to where our wires are. Now we twist these together. Once we get it started, we can finish it off with the pliers. All right, that's what it looks like to this stage. Next, we take our metal cutters and we want to clip off the excess wire. Just like that. And then using the pliers, go ahead and bend all this in. You can even hammer it a little bit. Pull all this together. Put one more crimp on this because that will tighten it even further. At the bottom. Organize the copper. And there's your cup with an insulated handle. Let's make some coffee. All right, we've got our coffee percolating. I believe it's about ready to taste. It's time to enjoy some hot coffee in our new Hobo tin can mug. Let's try it out. That's good coffee. It's nice and strong. And the handle, it's well insulated. I think you'll like this project. It's a lot of fun to make and it serves quite well. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below, just under the more button. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take survival and bushcraft training classes here at our beautiful facility in Southern Ohio. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time. <music>